Hi Virgo, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm going to jump straight in and see what's happening with you. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Hmm. Maybe an off. <laughs> let's see. Because the first one is the uh, Ace of Swords. So this could be about the third party situation. Because when there's wolves in this deck, to me it's, you know, how they are. Um, wolves, I'm not saying wolves are bad. Because I think someone left a comment about oh, wolves are friendly people. Oh, God. I'm talking about, you know, a situation such as this could be the wolves, which your person has to do, <laughs> have, are dealing with, who are um, on your person's case. And it's like you, you spoke your truth about it and said, look, this needs, needs to cut out. This is to do with twin flame going within. But, hold on, there's a kind of... I'm getting... If I'm honest with this reading, I'm getting someone's done a bit of work going within. So spoke their truth. This is for a certain amount of you. And the little work that they've done, they've gone and lodged it and think, and, and it's not, it's, it hasn't changed anything. Because of you've just done a little bit of work. And I don't know how else I'm, I'm going to explain this, so I'm going to get in it, it, some clarity about it. But that's what I'm picking up from this reading. This person's gone within, focused on that but it's like see the chariot's here and it's going this way and this woman's facing like speaking her truth the truth of a twin flame and i'm like pulled to the flames and i'm like it's not about the truth of a twin flame it's it that's what i do with it i don't understand what you're going within and say it, it's like someone might be saying to their person look you're my twin flame we're supposed to be together by doing the inner work doesn't make you want to say that. I always say if you follow me, this could be someone who's new. My person doesn't know Jack, she, well didn't, and now he's working on this Twin Flame community, obviously. But initially, I never went to him and said to him, you're Twin Flame. He didn't even know what Twin Flame was till like literally uh, a week ago. <laughs> the depths, obviously, I said I'm a Twin Flame community and you're my Twin Flame, but that's it. But this person is somehow saying, those people over there are not for you. This is me. I'm your Twin Flame. I'm thinking by going within. And it's like it's pushing you further away with the chariot here. I'm going to get clarity for that. <laughs> Straight away. It's like you're you're fighting. There's a word for this, and oh gosh, you're both fighting the same bloody stupidness, third dimensional thing. Oh, I know what's going on here. <laughs> this is someone who's just gone in and done a little bit of what their third dimensional was like. Go in, meditate, cross your leg on on the mountain, go walk on nature, and barefoot. Done that fluffy version of inner work and thought that was enough to then go cuss out their twin flame 
because the, the emperor's come here, which is like, oh, he's controlling me, but you're controlling it the same way. This woman's facing this flames, and this flame is the emperor. So you're just back and forth to each other here with arguments with the first card. It's not pushing it forward, which you think it is. All you're doing is going towards more arguments with the, your person, whoever this resonates with. Underneath this is Five of Cups. So you're arguing because the Five of Cups is um, regret. And you feel like, look, third party, you're moaning about the third party and stuff like this. You know, um, he's not manifesting his two cups. He's not emotionally investing, this kind of thing. He's coming up shielded. Look at this fit. Look at this person. I don't know how he's breathing, this person there, he or she. But you're not understanding the concept, the proper the proper insight of this union. This is for someone who doesn't understand the twin flame correctly. Like I said, it's going to other tower readers who are saying, get rid of him, speak your truth, be the M press and then you'll get your emperor which this is the dimensional all you have to do is open up your heart chakra then that will lead you to him maybe focus on your third eye read up some fluffy um uh stuff do some reiki clearing and then all good to go that's not a twin flame that's not this planet actually you don't get anything by doing that if that was the case then everyone on planet earth would be happy and all these people that do tower readings for twin flames th there would be far more twin flames together so this is someone who thinks what they're doing is correct and then started an argument like i said but it's not because of they're not understanding clearly that there's more to be done because your person's just keeps showing up the same shielded no emotions and controlling <laughs> For, for sure in this reading so you're you, whoever this resonates with needs to go and check out i'm just going to say how i say it needs to go check out my two playlists then um first of all the first one how to read tower correctly the other one um for twin flames because you're following soulmates which you're twin flame if you're on this channel and the other one is about how to heal correctly, how to communicate correctly, and all tons of other videos. I don't even know how many I've got. This is underneath this chariot, which is not going anywhere. It's going in the other direction. Communication. Communication and truth. I'm just picking up the same thing. I just keep getting it. You think because you're twin flame, you have a right to tell your person what to do. It's not like that. I don't care what they whoever puts whatever shit in these shitty comments. I'm reading what I'm reading, and that's what this is. This is four of wands and four of wands. So it's like you're communicating because this is eight of wands. This is communicating that you're twin flame. One, 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 one. That represents the twin flame. You're communicating, reflecting back the other one, 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 one to your person. And I state that because the first card and the last card are a match, which is a reflection of a twin flame. And then the next card is your truth, which you perceive to be your truth. And your truth is your twin flame and you don't like these other people who they're with. But it's not about to do with the other people. It's about you understanding the dynamics of the planet that you live on, which is twin flames work. That's what it's about, which, like I said, is in my playlist. But let me get some more clarity on this. this one is to do it could be uh, smoke drugs here as well
I'm just reading this one. This is like you think your person's immature, but it's just repeating itself. You think they're sneaky, shady behavior. He's not in his truth. He's lying to you. He's talking about drugs, doing drugs or something behind your back. Oh, check out this. This is definitely soulmate. Oh, let me put it this way. The Empress and the Emperor. If you follow me, this is someone treating this 100% like a soulmate relationship when you're a twin flame. Absolutely match. Your twin flame, the count, your counterpart is the Hierophant and you are the High Priestess. For this to come out in this reading is clarifying exactly what I said. You're not understanding the, the dynamics of oneself. You don't even know tarot is about you. You are tarot. The goddess tarot, which is the high priestess. Tarot means the story of life, your life, your life. You pull into reality your wishes, your wants. You need to know how to do that as a twin flame. Go check out my playlist. I'm not getting into it. This is as above, so below. Once again, look, the four of wands, which I said, you think you know best because you're a twin flame. So you're reflecting back to your person. I'm a twin flame. You need to go within, heal this situation. This is third eye and sun healing because as above, so below. This is one wand here. You are negative here with the moon and the lies. You're not balancing that out, which is Sagittarius here, the temperance. So as you're one, you're going to get negative, but you think you're going in and healing, but no, it's one. So you're going to keep getting negative as above, so below. The entirety of the card, shadow, look at the back, shadow work. You've just gone in and, oh, I've opened up my heart chakra. I'm doing affirmations. I'm clearing my chakra. No fucking hardcore shadow work there, which you need the strength to do. You're doing surface level bullshit, which ain't doing nothing. You're doing soulmate stuff which don't touch the side. What I say in these readings ain't just for twin flames. My teachings is just specifically for twin flames. Soulmates can get healed as well with all my stuff. It's just that it's too big of a market for me, hence why my person's now on board. I can't do it all. But you need to understand that what they're saying on YouTube for you as a twin flame, you need to at least understand what the dynamics are, what I've already said. For those that are new, you can tell that this is different already. I'm not saying anything like anyone else. And that's what you will find in my playlist. Oh, check this out. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. I think I know best. Three of Wands is knowing. You think you know best. You don't. Two of Wands is thinking. This is Aries. You think you know self. You don't know. That is first house, meaning yourself. You don't know yourself. These are wands. This is your twin flame. You don't know about your twin flame. This is what this is saying. This is Mars, which is Aries, which is first house, which is the emperor. Also Scorpio, which is eight house, which is um, deep secrets. You're bothered about your person's secrets, like a soulmate, which you need to know about the moon card. This is just someone who doesn't know. I'm not going to go into it anymore. Please, I'm not repeating it. There's enough there. If you don't stop this, you will keep going round and round. That's all I'm going to say. You want to change this shitty cycle, hence the fall, the zero of going round and round. It's called the fool's journey for a reason, because a fool is someone who doesn't know. I'm not saying you're a fool, but that's what it's called. This is about you learning the fool's journey, so you experience the unknown. The unknown is proper hardcore shadow work. Shadow you don't know about. Not affirmations and heart chakras. I promise you it's going to go round and round and round. It's frustrating because there's not enough of us like me up here on YouTube to tell people how to do it correctly. <clears throat> Burdens. That's like ten of wands to me. And you're walking away. So you're going round and round this journey because there's a lot of burdens arguments and then you walk away then it starts again this is a circle <laughs> oh. 
hold on. That drops me many. One sec. My son came in and started talking. Or well, sign language. <laughs> One sec. Last card to sum this up, which basically is stop treating a twin flame situation like a soulmate because it won't happen. I think that's you. It's, it's like a present because you're not listening to look. I would say that's your guidance and you're not understanding the key. You know who holds the key? The Hierophant holds the key. Go and put in tarot card Hierophant. You'll see a key. Most of the Hierophant. That's your person. They hold the key. The Hierophant, I said, is your counterpart, not the Emperor. So you are treating this <laughs> As a soul, I don't know, they're all clarifying all the cards. So all I can suggest is you book me if you want to do the work to go in. Because you know you have to go in. This is someone who's going in and knows, but you're not doing it correctly. And you know that. Because what you're doing, it's the six of swords. So you're pushing it forward, but then it's going back. It's that zero in the infinite lamiscate, eight and eight, isn't it? Because you're not understanding that. So if that resonates with me, book me. If you don't want to book me, fair enough. That's why I created not one, but two playlists. You go through the playlist and I can guarantee you will then see that I know how to get you with your person. But pre-warning, tower readings, my tower reading, my playlist won't get you with your person. So if you're just doing the dots of getting other people and not booking uh, my service or someone who's on my service or my person or something like that, this will continue. That's why I'm here. I promise you that much. And it's just how it is. It's fact. That's why there's a zero on the false journey. Because you need to know oneself. This person doesn't know oneself. Okay, hopefully this resonates with someone. And thanks for listening.